Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be evaluating an algebraic expression given two other expressions. So we're given two equations. One of them is equal to 5, the other one is 4 fifths. And we're going to evaluate the given uh, the third one, which is x over y plus z plus y over x plus z plus z over x plus y. I'll be introducing two methods. Let's start with the first one. Now notice that x over y plus z can be written as 1 over y plus z times x. So here's the correct ingredient. We're going to take the first expression, the first equation, and multiply by the second equation. Well, you're given two equations. What, what else can you do with them, right? You can add them, you can multiply, you can subtract, you can divide, so on and so forth. So let's go ahead and multiply x plus y plus z by... 1 over x plus y plus 1 over x plus z plus 1 over y plus z. Let's go ahead and do it. And since one of them is equal to 5, the other one is equal to 4 fifths, when we multiply them, 5 is going to cancel out and the product is going to equal 4. Great. Let's go ahead and distribute x first. So that's going to give us x over x plus y plus x over x plus z plus x over y plus z. Awesome. And now we're going to distribute the y, y over x plus y, plus y over x plus z, plus y over y plus z. And then finally, we're going to go ahead and distribute the z, z over x plus y, plus z over x plus z, and then z over y plus z. And the sum is equal to 4. Awesome. Now, this kind of looks gibberish or meaningless or complicated, whatever, but we're going to combine these terms in a meaningful way. For example, I'll take x over x plus y and combine it with y over x plus y. And guess what? When you add these up, because they have the same denominator, you get x plus y over x plus y, which is equal to 1. Great. How about the other ones? For example, I can take x over x plus z, right? I can take this and add it to z over x plus z, which is right here. So like this one. Uh-oh, that wasn't my intention. Let's use a different color. So I want to take this x over x plus z and combine it with z over x plus z. So that gives me x plus z over x plus z, which is also 1. And now what else can I do? I have, obviously, I don't want to take x over y plus z because I can really pair it with something meaningful. But rather, I want to take y over y plus c, this one, let's go ahead and use a triangle symbol for that one. So distinguish between these. And uh, what can I combine that with? z over y plus c, right? And their sum is going to be y plus z over y plus z. Awesome. And what else do we have left? We have x over y plus c plus y over x plus z and z over x plus y left. Those are the leftover terms, and that is equal to 4, right? Great. So this is 1, this is 1, and this is 1. 1 plus 1 plus 1 is equal to 3. So we get 3 plus x over y plus z plus y over x plus z plus z over x plus y is equal to 4. If you subtract 3 from 4, you get 1. So this is equal to 1. And what are we looking for? We're looking for exactly that, right? So the answer is 1. This brings us to the end of the first method. Let's go ahead and talk about the second method. So my second method, uh, I'm going to rewrite the equation so you can see what we have. We have x plus y plus z is equal to 5, 1 over x plus y, 1 over x plus z, and 1 over y plus z is equal to 4 fifths. And we're trying to evaluate x over y plus z plus y over x plus z, plus z over x plus y. This is, this is what we're trying to evaluate. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to go ahead and take the expression that we're trying to evaluate, which is this one. And does it matter if I just add and subtract something to this expression? It doesn't, right? If, as long as I do the same number. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take this expression, and I could probably use a different color here. Let's use blue. All right, so I'm going to take this. I'm going to take this 
uh, subtract 3 from it and then add 3 to it. Why am I doing this? Let me explain. Uh, obviously this balances out but not only that subtracting 3 I'm going to distribute the 3 here as 3 times negative 1. So let's go ahead and write it this way. Instead of subtracting 3 I could just subtract 1 from this and then subtract 1 from this and subtract 1 from this right and then of course at the end I have to add the 3. Awesome. Now let's see what happens here when we combine these together right. Well, here's the thing. I probably want to do the opposite, not this way, but more like, okay, I want to add one, not subtract, because subtraction isn't really going to help us here. So let's go ahead and turn these into plus minus signs and turn this into a minus sign. Easy fix, right? Okay, so I'm going to put the plus ones together, plus three. Uh, I'm going to split up the three as one plus one plus one and kind of distribute. Now look at each of these groups and hopefully that will make more sense to you now. What is that? If you make a common denominator, you get x plus y plus z over y plus z, right? Plus x plus y plus z over x plus z, and then x plus y plus z over x plus y minus 3. And of course, this is the expression, remember, this is the expression we're trying to evaluate. We, we still don't know the answer, right? But here's what we can do. We can take out x plus y plus z. We can factor that out. And inside, we're going to have 1 over y plus z plus one, 1 over x plus z plus 1 over x plus y. And then from the whole thing, I need to subtract 3. So this is what I'm trying to evaluate. I don't know what it is. It's equal to question mark, right? I don't know what it is. But what is it equal to? We do know that this is equal to 5. And this is equal to four fifths. Therefore, this is five times four fifths minus three. The fives cancel out. Four minus three equals one. And that is the answer to the expression we're looking for. And this brings us to the end of this video. Well, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you tomorrow with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye bye.